All right, so before we actually get started modeling and stuff, I've got you know a handful of views. I mean, you're, since we've got this three poly set up, you know, it's semi-transparent. We've got this in here. I just turned on a few of the other OpenGL texture views, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do here. It's basically we're going to make the absolute most or not the most, but a very, very rough approximation using primitives and stuff. And I'm, I'm sure you guys are familiar with uh, you know, some of this sort of process. But you can see that this, this character is made up entirely of very broad shapes. But you know, it defines the entire volume uh, you know, and most of the shape of the initial character, you know, head to toe. You, know, you can see that the head is really just you know, a couple of... Uh, couple of manipulated polys off of you know what is you know a fairly dense sphere uh, the ears are just an extruded poly um, and the rest of this really is just a, a group of the same primitives you know there's a rough approximation of you know I just broke out a few surfaces across polys this may actually uh, be a piece of modeled clothing based on uh, the final mesh or maybe it's just a textured piece of uh, uh, a textured piece on the geometry uh, and those are things that we'll go over uh, later on. Uh, since this is just a modeling tutorial, uh, you're still going to need to help. You know, you're still going to need to find surfaces for uh, the rest of the team if you're not doing the actual texturing. Uh, sometimes you do that, sometimes you won't. But uh, it helps, you know, in the final view, according to your design documents and stuff like that, to have an approximation of surfaces as well. But the most important aspect of this guy isn't necessarily uh, you know the that he's completely defined you can see that muscles are really rough I gave the serratus anterior a really rough over kind of thing uh, or a rough once over one of the most important aspects of this guy is defining where the joints are and you can kind of see those appearing here but uh, I will stress that in, in a professional you know environment typically people will want you to start you know, as close to the head as possible, because the body, you know, on a typical, you know, on any character, you can define a volume and shape uh, with primitives that's very effective, just for blocking and you know laying things out, and it, it, it informs the rigging uh, people what they're gonna what they're gonna need to do in terms of you know the bone setups and stuff like that, or the uh, basic topologies and, and layouts of the setup. Uh, you know, that information can be really basic and can be done really quickly. But you know, for this, for the purposes of this uh, portion of the tutorial, I'm just going to show you how to show you what what my process, in any way, is in blocking out in the roughest form a really, you know, a, a really useful sort of animatic level character. And let's give that a shot.